Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Evelyn's 3D Shop. In this video, I bring you a tutorial on how to export from Blender to Unreal Engine with the file format FBX. So, in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you are how to fix the errors that you may get while exporting with this file format from these two programs first of all what we're going to do is in my case because i want to export everything i have here i'm going to click a and i choose everything so just click the button a on the keyboard and there it is the keyboard now we're going to go to file we go to export and we choose fbx okay so i already have a file here i'm just going to click the same name doesn't matter in my case these are the options that i want to add so here i'm going to add to limit two and i'm going to go down to geometry and i'm going to i'm smoothing i'm going to choose face normally you only have normals only that's the default option but we change it to faces and we're going to click tangent space normally it's not click but we're going to click it in here now that we have all the options that we need we're going to export fbx and we get this error which is mesh has polygons with more than four vertices cannot compute export tangent space for it all right what this means is that there are n guns on these three models that I have here. So what you have to do is click A to choose everything. You click on tab to go to edit mode. You click A again just to be sure that you have everything chosen, everything clicked. And then you go to face. You click on triangulate faces and then you click on trees to quads all right you go to export fbx and we export again and now you see we don't have any error message appearing now let's jump to unreal engine to import the file that we just export from blender i am using unreal engine 4.25 but you can use whatever version you have let's go to import here it is living room decor our file we're going to open and we're going to click some options i already have them here clicked be sure that click on import normals and tangents and you have everything click here remove the generate generate light map uvs and all right only that perfect if you want to create the new materials as well have that option there perfect now we're going to import all okay now we have everything imported and we have some fbx import issues it says here mesh name has some nearly zero tangents which can create some issues what this means usually this issue appears because of the uv mappings because they were poorly made maybe because they do not exist so what we're going to do is going back to blender and fix these issues so we have three meshes in here the glass lid the book 01 and the book 02 already fixed the uv maps in blender for the three meshes that i got an error of i'm not going to show the process of the uv mapping for two reasons the first one is because i'm not an expert in the subject so i'm still learning it how to uv map 
and therefore that's why the second reason because this is not a UV map tutorial I'm not going to show that part so I apologize for that but there are a lot of YouTube videos of UV mapping that you can look for let's continue we're going to import again as you see I deleted the last import so we're going to import it again we open we already have all the options chosen import all okay 47 perfect as you can see we don't get any message issue we're going to check the map check in here we're going to go to the fbx import and as we can see there's nothing there it was imported successfully great all right now the second step that i like to do when importing is to be sure that the lightning it's okay with these meshes that we're not going to get any errors there it is the reason why it looks like that is because these meshes are we're looking from behind so what we're going to do is rotate but we're going to rotate everything let's see there it is all right so we have this message here lighting needs to be rebuilt so we're going to rebuild it really quickly all right so we get these messages object has overlapping uvs so we can go to blender again to fix each and one of this okay i already fixed the uv mappings the uv maps of the 3d models that were giving trouble with the lighting so i'm going to import once again the file Okay, so I'm going to bring it into the world. I'm going to rotate. It looks like that because the shaders are compiling. There it is. Okay, now we're going to build the light. I'm going to look for the map check in, in lighting results there is no issue so we fix all the issues that we had while exporting from blender to importing to unreal engine this product this is the end of the tutorial these are the issues that I'm going to discuss in this video because those are the issues that first of all because they are the most common issues that I have a counter while exporting many of my uh, of the products that I sell if you have another issues different from the ones that I discuss in this video please let me know in the comments below and I will see if I have also encountered that issue and make a video of those I hope that this video was useful for you also I want to present this this is a new product I'm going to be releasing or maybe I already released it when I publish this video the links to buy this product in case you're interested and other of my products you can find it in the description on this video anyways thank you very much have a great day or night see you on the next video bye